Be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. So I said a few weeks ago, if your heart really, really craves a to-do list, here's one item you can put right at the top. Be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Now once I typically say that to people and they go, (laughs) I say, okay now, shut up and thank God for Jesus. It's a point, okay? It's the point of the entire Bible. The point of the entire, this isn't a fortune cookie, okay? This isn't like a collection of, you know, Confucius' sayings. This is intended to point us to Jesus. It's intended to do two things, to show us that we can't and never ever could, and that Jesus did and promised that he would. That's what it's about. Okay, so the Sermon on the Mount is that section of the Bible where Jesus puts up this wall that we crash into, and when we finally fall on our knees and fall flat on our face, when we crash and burn, we're ready to hear good news that Jesus has come to do for us what we could never do for ourselves. So Jesus, um, and you see this really, um, that when he talks about Jesus coming to fulfill the law, When you read the rest of the Gospels, okay, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Gospels are in large part the story of Jesus fulfilling those demands. Okay, so you read through the Gospels and you see that Jesus is the one who turns the other cheek. Jesus is the one who goes the extra mile. Jesus is the one who loves his enemies. Jesus is the one who prays for those who persecute him. Everything that, every demand that is made here in the Sermon on the Mount, as you follow through the Gospels, you see Jesus specifically meeting those demands for sinners like you and me. And the way that I've typically put it is that Jesus fulfilled all of God's holy conditions for us so that our relationship to God could be wholly unconditional. Okay, that's... That's the beauty. That's why we talk a lot about Jesus here. Because without Jesus doing for us what we could never do for ourselves, we would all be in big trouble. None of this is about you. None of this is about me. None of this is about other people. All of this is about Jesus. We bank everything holy on him. It's not that we bank a lot on him and a little on us. It's not that we trust a lot in him and a little on us. We bank everything on him because he is our only hope, our redeemer, our savior, the only one who could meet God's holy demands so that our relationship to God could be wholly unconditional.